guys it's Timo TK and today I'm, I'm thinking of starting a new series called the how to series what this means is I'm gonna show you how to be better in free fire whether that be in clash squad ranked or even ranked behind me because we all want to get better right please with no further ado please like and subscribe on today's video so that tells me that you like the series and I can do more like this show you how to get better in the game anyways please like and subscribe again I say this and enjoy the rest of the video bye Step 1 is becoming good in Clash Cross Rings. If you have a character like someone with a high perk who can one shot anybody with, with his first, then don't buy a gun in the first round. It saves you money and you can buy better weapons in the second round to give you an, an advantage over the opposing team. Yes, like this. Hit this dude on the head. And if, if you run away, you can just hit them with your speed. Two is where the fight really kicks off because there's all types of things. Do not go for the sniper if you have the most enough on feet unless you're the god of sniper. But the best gun generally to go for would be the MP5, the AUG, and the MA or the Mac or whatever you want to call it. And the Kingfish is also great too. But as a beginner, you probably want to take the MP5 or the AUG. Oh shit, I'm gonna check it out. It's probably the best place where you can fill up your armor and on blue arts because blue arts are very necessary maybe even mushrooms but please and then if you have left of money you should probably go for the a shotgun for close combat these guys are literally too too old right now but you're gonna be dangerous what the hell dude This is why I like the odd dude. Run! No. Round 4 is the mode where you fill up on all your stuff. Get your armor to level 3. Buy the best weapon, which is the SMG MP40 and the woodpecker. Even this gun, but I don't prefer it. I don't say you should take it if you're a beginner in the game because it only has two shots. Again, take the blue arms. Let's go. The tip for Clash Squad is remember that this is a team game mode. So never run alone. Work with your teammates always and you will always win the match. Trust me. So this is a bad example that I had today. Yeah, I didn't speak to the team and I absolutely shredded them. Of guns out today, make sure that the aim assist is all the way up. You want to have it on default. I have it on precise scope, which I'll get on you see why I use it in a different video. So make sure your aim assist is high, and then you can hit any shot any day. What? Holy shit. 